So as uh, we started this discussion last week, spending time with our also <laughs> lovely women, the singles and the non-singles, mm -hmm. uh, our favorite girls club is back in the building. We've got Phyllis. Phyllis is our mom of three. Yes. She's been married about 12 years. Nine. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Married okay. uh, for nine years, years. and is a teacher. How are you, Phyllis? Yes, I'm good for like how are you? Good, good, good. Next to Phyllis is our favorite interior designer. She also is uh, one of our favorite coaches, and she's also a mom of three. And she is single. She calls herself the double parent. We learned this expression last week. Olivia, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Bolake. And we're not letting you go, by the way, before you've given us our design tip. Today. <laughs> you are guilty, the heck. Guilty. You are guilty. It's right? coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then lastly, but in no way at least, we met her last week, mom of four. She's got two sets of twins. Mm. She is single. Her late husband died suddenly. But oh boy, doesn't she look yummy and scrumptious. Mm. <laughs> Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. Bridget, would you say you're happy? Yes, you are happy. Yes, yeah. Happy. You, and you've been giving us this feeling mm -hmm. since last week that yeah. you, you're you drinking something that we need to drink from. I'm just not sure what it is that you're drinking. <laughs> water. What is water. What's, what's, in <laughs> what's, what's, what's in your water? What's in your water? So talk to us about dating as single moms, Olivia. Is dating as a single mom different to when you weren't a single mom? Not when you were married, obviously, but when you were not married no kids is it different it's actually different it's actually tougher dating when you're a single mom than yeah. when you're a kid do you know oh it, uh, oh my gosh it's um i was talking about it the other day and i was like whoa 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 it was easier when i was a teenager mm. uh, because you know when you're now a single mom you're accountable to so many people then you are accountable to your parents then now um, you're accountable to your kids and whoever, whoever, you know, you've got your kids asking you where you're going, what time are you coming back? Mm. And you're thinking, whoa, mm. I'm supposed to be the parent here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's oh, con uh, considering the accountability part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm curious when, when kids are asking, I'm a mom, like I have no child who's going to, I'm not a mom, but I'm just imagining myself as a mom. I'm not going to have a child asking me where I'm going. So uh, why, why are they asking the parent that question? Fufu, fufu, suwa, are they worried to be alone? Do they I not think, think it's, a, it's, it's a question of safety okay. or yeah. whatever. We just want to know where you are going. The, mm -hmm. I don't find there's anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think, okay, just in general, mm -hmm. in general, somebody should know where you're going yeah you just say hi kids i'm going out yes i'm going out where are you going oh, no, 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 you i'm back. going to borodale or mm -hmm. i'm going to to town or mm -hmm. to avondale or i'm eh, no pindorogas no waru so that interrogation says otero and then what time are you coming back okay i should be back around about 10. that way like for example, like as well, no 11, 12 is a child. You understand? What's going on? Mm. So I think it's just a matter of accountability more than Kutevana or what have you, but Kanochibudo Mombaga. Somebody just needs to know. All right. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Bridget, do you have to explain yourself to your kids? Uh, the big boys. I have boys. Yeah. And I think insecurity as well as like they are men they, they wanted to know where i'm going with who and who so there's other times when they will pick to walk outside the way oh, you yeah. are going and with who <laughs> when it comes to boys <laughs> yes. mm. yeah they feel like they are the fathers of the household yeah, yeah. they don't feel like they are the kids yeah. no well, they, they are, so they should know where you are going into it hmm. mm. and do you think kids realize that you might be dating that you might be seeing other people do you think that ever crosses their mind or they just see you as mom mm. mom cannot be a girlfriend she can't be a lover well, I'm a girl, no. they are very intelligent very very they can notice something is going on even on your phone maybe no matter go up on you even if you do phone up on the not they are so they are very intelligent they would mm. know mm. that that is going on mm. and you cannot lie to them right <laughs> are your kids aware when you have a uh, 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 the giggles. Um, they're bound to pick it up. I've got teenagers, and 
the youngsters eleven. Um, they are they, because I think they're also in that dating phase, and they can pick up the cues, eh? Mm -hmm. And probably they can kind of like hear the whispers. Lena calls the hee 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 the oh, you know, and then you know, and then they know that okay something's up. Yeah. You know, then sometimes you get the question. Is there something you're not telling us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, type mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so d dating when you've got older kids, yeah, it's kind of like, well, the younger one, um, he's a boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's 11. He will pretend as if I don't know anything. But like what Bridget was saying, or something like that. Mm -hmm. You find Kuti, I got to go and for a window, and all of a sudden, I could What's going on outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, got you. We're talking this morning to single moms about dating 0719104. We want to also hear. Uh, your experiences, um, actually, uh, 1308, you said dating is not easy. Why? Let us know why you say dating is not easy. And what is dating as a single mom? The other time we learned that kune courtship, kune dating, kune and wooing. Like all different words to mean so many different things. Is, is that the same thing? Phyllis, we're not going to ask you for now because you yeah, are yeah, not course. in this WhatsApp Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but what's, what's that like in terms of when we say you're dating? You're seeing someone. What what does that mean, Olivia? Okay. Um. For me, is dating is spending time with somebody, getting to know them better, and um, just uh, what can I say? Kind of like analyzing their click. Don't you click? Uh, what are your interests? It's just getting to know somebody. Dating and courtship are. Two different things, mm -hmm. really. So you can move from dating into courtship, then into marriage. So dating, right? I want to know who you are, basically. I want to know what you like, what tickles you, what do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 like that's where I get to see. Okay, how do you dress? How do you do that? The types of conversations we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. Bridget, can we date more than one person at a time? No, we cannot. It was with one heart. So you can only be one person at a time? You can only get to know one person at a time? Yeah, to yeah, so avoid conflict. <laughs> because if you date three people, mm. I don't know if you have to bring it on our street, but mm. you can only move on the street like we're in a relationship and you cause a commotion. And then such a thing, but we're going to have to do that or something. So one at a time, for not our street, and you move to the next. Yeah, I don't know about dating many people all the time. Yeah. Are, are single women dating to be married? Like when you're thinking about dating, is yeah. it the same way for like they would approach it where I've never been married, I don't have kids, I've never walked that path before? Mm -hmm. Is it the same thing for single women or for you, you're just looking for what? It's different because like when you are just a single with no kids and stuff, when you're dating, you need to consider your kids as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to date someone who would accept you with the kids as well. Mm -hmm. So you are a whole package. You are not just one. It's different from when you are by yourself. You've got no kids. You're just completed with no kids. Mm -hmm. So you have to consider kids as well when you're dating. Olivia, are you dating for marriage? What are you dating for? Maybe that's a better question. What are you dating for? I think um, marriage is the end game, mm -hmm. really, in any relationship between a man and a woman. If we get there, perfect. Uh, but um, I think first you're looking at companionship, like I was saying, do a click, does this person accept who I am, uh, not just about the kids, my character and all that. Mm -hmm. So at the end of it all, um, any relationship between a man and a woman, right? And also, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eva, you then define, could, do you want to get married, or you want to be lifetime partners, or whatever it is. Mm, lifetime yeah. partners. Yes. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oprah. 
<laughs> and still, and still, we're not in America. Can we get away with that? Apparently, for 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 the older people, mm -hmm. yes, living together. Because she lives in seven. Can she know that? Yeah, under mm -hmm. like with aging, it, it depends with the age. I wouldn't expect my daughter to have a lifetime partner. Right. But for me, mm -hmm. it could. It's possible. So do you share your assets? Do you build together? Because Oprah and Sedman have built together, right? They've been together over 25 uh, years. She obviously has more money than him. Fine. But they've built the house they live in. There are a lot of things that is together in that. Those are the things that you then get to define. To say, those are the things that you have to put on the table to say, how are we going to proceed? Are we going the marriage route? Are we going the partner route? And if we're going the marriage route, well, Assets and la 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 la, but mm. that's later on. Mm. Let's talk about dating. Yeah, I want to open the just we're talking about being married. That's all. Yeah, but but, <laughs> is it, but 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 is that not part of the discussion, right? Yes. Where if you are trying to build your life with someone, there are certain things, especially if you if you're not because marriage is easy, right? Mm. Just for us women, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. But now when you say your life partners, you're also taking away that. If I can use the word autonomy from the man, where it's completely what he wants, because now you're saying, no, I'm not your wife, I'm not your property. We're together. That's what I'm saying. That you have to define. Mm. You have to define. Pretty, are we going the marriage route, mm -hmm. or we? Because there's some people who don't want to get married, but they want a companion. For what reason? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but where there is. A clear definition and where there's clarity it makes everything easy right to say okay fine if we're going to be partners i've got my partner he stays in Bordeaux, i stay in mount pleasant so what are we gonna do mm. you know i've heard funny arrangements wait this weekend your place next weekend my place or something funny like that yeah you understand yeah. so it's now up to the two of you defining exactly how you want to proceed with your Partnership. Bridget, how does this work? How this is life partner business? You are a businesswoman, you are building your own empire right now without the help of a man. And then you meet someone and you might actually say and you actually said this also that you're not really thinking about remarrying. Being there, done that. You have the t shirt plus shoes and everything. Mm -hmm. You're not really trying to go there. What would a life partner look like? A life partner <clears throat> there are no commitments. Each you other. have each other's space. You give each other space. Uh, I think that is over differences. That's the differences where you want to choose. You want to get married and be committed to the marriage and to do the marriage well. And there is this way you want to agree mm -hmm. on having each other's space as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you are not committed to anyone. Whatever happens, you are not committed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my security. Why do people want to say go security? Putting if I do that, I'm not committed to you. You have already agreed. And then there is a partnership here, put him and you are not born. What are they calling it now? It's recognized now. Uh, there's a name for it's it. It's a civil, civil partnership. Mm -hmm. okay. But you are not married. But uh, after, in the in my security, after my sister, after whatever happens, mm -hmm. people just put it on your way with what you had and what you didn't have. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. I'm wondering, is can you, let me ask this to, to Phyllis, even though I think you're compromised in this one. Okay. Is it possible to be, is marriage the only way mm -hmm. to be in a committed relationship with someone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't think it's possible to be committed, to be in a committed relationship and not necessarily be married? Yeah, I think if you're married, yeah, it's the only way you're committed. Yeah. Olivia, yeah. can you be in a committed relationship and not be married? Do you need marriage to be in a committed relationship? Okay, I think um, the way marriage, okay, let's look at marriage as it is. It's supposed to be something that's got commitment and all that. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the theoretical meaning of marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm married to you, I'm married to only you, and I'm with you. That was the Asian version. Mm -hmm. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So there's more security in marriage mm -hmm. than the the partnership mm -hmm. yeah. part. So there would be more commitment. Mm 
Yeah. So, so let's say because with the partnership, I can wake up today and say, I'm not feeling you. You understand? And <laughs> and with a marriage, you have never been in love because when you've been in love, even when you were not married, you just don't wake up and say, I'm what out. No, I mean, I mean to say, like with a marriage, right? Mm. If and this is what it may be, marriage. What, what is it that's different there in a marriage that you can't do? But wh but what is it that you you can't do without the paper that says you're married in a relationship? Do you know what? With a marriage, it's not easy to quit. Do you understand? You can't just wake up and say and chakuda and you walk out and all that. It's a process. I, I, and, during the process it's not... and during the process, and during the process. He is intervening, he is intervening or what, you know, you're really trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. Unlike just a, a partnership and what have you, you don't go feel out in that side. Can, of course, it has your chibi nyengera, but the heart doesn't know that, you know what I mean? The heart doesn't know that, how do, how do I put it? Mm -hmm. Isn't marriage just a social construct in your mind rather than an actual real how do i put it it's like it's like zara unen <coughs> zara it's a state of mind we all know what that means right mm -hmm. but it's not tangible you can't you can't touch it and say this is a proof that unen zara it's a state of mind that your mind tells you it's a social construct that i said this one is a physiological construct okay. but it's a construct so i'm trying to figure out what it is about this idea of marriage that would be different from a partnership Bridget would have or that you would have. Okay, maybe I can try to answer Phyllis, that. Except the fact that you have a, a legal piece of paper. But my Misha have a legal piece of paper. As long as it's mine. And I think. But I think. But I think. But I think. But I think. Correct. Correct. But what I'm saying is the ability for anyone to intervene in that marriage mm -hmm. is not about a piece of paper. It's about the commitment and union mm -hmm. that is represented by that act of, of marriage. Phyllis, you want to say something? Yeah, uh, I want to take what you bond is never no marriage. Because you think what you when we deny each and every time, Pesi Pandiri, eh, can ask you come back to that time when I repo, we are repo, I could die. Then the relationship it comes up in marriage. You can go down, Nana. The bond here in a cousin, but because you are not together all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think bonds, yeah, even our marriage, Yaka Nyanya, Kudari Kavan was seen. Right. That is what I think. Okay, oh yeah. seven one nine one hundred four zero four. I'm looking for if you are in a partnership, right? And you're not married. Do you agree with that? That the idea that you're married makes your bond stronger, as Phyllis is saying, than you who says, listen, you and I are not signing any legal document, but we have been together five years or we want to be together. Would that change the, the power of your love? Being a single mom, Bridget, has that, I don't think you've ever, I, th I think I'm, I almost know your answer to this question. Have you ever, um, being a single mom felt like no one would want you because you're a single mom with four kids. Mm. No. No. You've always known that you're wantable. Yes. H. <laughs> H. Mm. Uh, we can we can tell. I mean, I, I, I have more. I, I have I have nothing to say to that. I honestly I really have nothing to say. And uh, Olivia, have you ever felt like no one would want you because you're a mom, a single mom, a double parent. I think just after I got divorced, I felt like that, you know, uh, because you're going through so many emotions, so many what. But now, oh God, any, any person would be lucky to have me because I've got so much to offer. So I don't even feel like. Do you think single moms have that problem in general? Where they feel like, yeah, Diana doesn't do mm -hmm. I think at the beginning, at the beginning, it, but it takes a lot of work to pick yourself up, mm -hmm. to pick up the self-confidence, to say, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm still Olivia, 
and um so yes i've got kids and everything else but i've got a whole lot more to offer than my kids hmm. okay bridget you said some single moms do find it feel like they've yes, got nothing to offer yes we do struggle with that because yeah. they feel like i have kids who is gonna want to date me or is gonna want to marry me again people struggle with that because they don't have knowledge or they don't have self-confidence mm -hmm. as well they need to be taught if you can believe it, in fact, we've seen other people getting married with a single, a non kid guy with five kids. You know, and I'm like, you know, we're watching that. That is grace. No one is that grace. Mm. And if you want to look for it, you get it. What you want, you get. I'm sure that yes. boy's mom, his sister, his cousins <laughs> are probably <laughs> not very but happy. You know, say, well, you know, say, and yeah. you know, okay, who are you to judge? Yeah. And did it. if it was your daughter, wouldn't they wouldn't you want them to be happy they would but it's not yes. my daughter that's the point uh, in that yeah. family there's actually a single mom as well yeah, that mother of that son might probably be a single mom exactly but she does not want her son exactly. marrying a single mom and with three kids mm -hmm. and um, also i think that's the other reason why most people are stuck in their Toxic, abusive marriages because we are not going to be to be able to be to be like because end of the day second marriage are not even sure yeah how do you think men perceive you as Bridget is a difficult because Bridget's confident levels are like <laughs> you know like we don't like you Bridget no I'm kidding but how, how do you think men how do you think men perceive you Bridget especially once they know that you are a mom of four and you have two sets of twins from two different fathers and sometimes that comes up where's can I put the mail I can't take so turn on our four I know I can be messy how do you think men perceive you once they know uh okay it comes from you first mm -hmm. you need to find someone who accepts for me it's take it or leave it take the package or not because i'm uh, i'm i'm really proud of having those kids and i move with them wherever i go and i won't leave them for anyone so you have to go in i have to tell you my whole profile mm -hmm. and you accept it or not and that's it if you don't you don't and i live with that how soon do you tell a guy that you have kids uh, immediately Immediately, yes, he should know who is Bridget. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't hide my kids, I love them, I put them in front. They love I this. It, yes, Olivia, how soon do you tell? Immediately, immediately, because they are part of me, mm -hmm. they're me. Because mm -hmm. even I, I, I don't know how people hide their kids. Because you find that in conversation, you're bound to drop it in. Somewhere, somehow, or they're gonna call, or the you understand it's bound to come out so immediately. And answering your question about how men perceive us, mm -hmm. it's sad. It's sad. Some people, uh, some most men actually mm -hmm. think we are two road, we are just an easy highway, you know. Mm -hmm. um, he approaches you today, hi, well, what. You know, and immediately you have told him, oh, no, I've got my kids and whatever, somewhere in the conversation. And then the next thing, <laughs> do you think they feel, do you think, do you think men feel, men who would want to date you feel like you may be prioritizing your kids over them? Because men have a thing about that, right? They like mm -hmm. to feel like, even for Phyllis, who's in an active marriage, mm -hmm. I'm so sure your husband wants to feel like he's number one. Of course. The kids are both yours, but... Mm -hmm. They want the attention, they want mm -hmm. to. Do you think single moms come off as their kids are number one? Which, in a sense, they are, isn't it? 
Yeah, my kids are number one, really. But it's a matter of balance. I have to be mature enough to balance the two. And he also has to understand that there's some things that I have to, you know, give priority to my kids. Mm. And sometimes it can be him. He understands. So mm. it's a matter of maturity, really. But the moment you accept, do you understand? There's some things you put here. Um, I have to rush home. Mm. You don't have to feel all. You see, that's why I told you that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a challenge. Mm. It's a challenge. Dating. Bridget? For me, I know how to balance my happiness, mm. my relationship, and my kids. Give us the tips now. How do you do this now? Bridget has all the 411. Bridget, how do you do this? Uh, okay, um. Uh, I involve my partner into my kids as well. Okay. Yes, because they're likely, I mean, I would want to meet someone who would be wanted to involve in my kids uh, kind of thing. Mm. When I dated before, yeah, he was involved when I was at work. He would spend time with my kids so that he would take me that weekend to the place where I'm taking your mother. So he would take the kids when I'm at work, the mm. movies and stuff and stuff and stuff. And also, I balance where I have time with my kids and I have time with my relationship yeah yeah so that no one complains they say mama we miss you or you say ah, no i'm missing this part so how quickly do you introduce your kids to this guy no after a while after long a while. time when i know that this is it mm. yes not too quickly when i know that mm. i'm committed <laughs> to the relationship yeah yeah and so who is this guy these women are dating or it doesn't matter because they are myths or these accusations that they date married men and society hates them for that we spoke about this last week though, yeah. didn't we about the, the stereotypes and phyllis was uh, not happy with you no, i'm kidding um, <laughs> dating is hard or not easy because it involves vulnerability uncertainty differing expectations finding mutual compatibility com com mutual compatibility i think you can say and i think this comes across whether you're single or not single how do you introduce your kids uh how do you introduce the guy to your kids in the week well um, first of all here's the thing first mm -hmm. right yeah. so you thing. don't touch you don't do any no you don't touch you don't do anything and do you know what the tricky part is at times is probably you have hung around with this person for a while before they've told you that they're interested. Mm -hmm. So your kids w could have met him way prior before the dating, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So maybe you've been friends for a while and blah, 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 and then whatever. <laughs> so do you actually uh, sit down there's a and different, say there's a different one whereby you've met somebody and they, they haven't been your friends they haven't hung out in your circles before and whatever so i think for a while um first i need to get to know this person who is he mm -hmm. and what and then when i am like satisfied or something like that then first then meet my kids as a friend mm. as a friend because my kids know there's nothing wrong with having a guy friend mm. if you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. as a friend because that also helps me then determine and then see how they click yeah I, do they have conversations? and then when you break up i'm not saying you will but when you do break up and then you bring somebody else into the space in a relationship with this person let's say you've you've um exercised all the precautions you've done the right thing mm -hmm. taken the time mm -hmm. and then it doesn't work because it can happen right my kids are old they're older i mean so you can expose them to as many attempts. not expose them <laughs> i can't expose them to attempts or anything but if we break up right mm. Um, guys, nah, doesn't work. Yeah, you know. How many and have they met so far? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Just one. Yeah. Bridget, yes. how many have yours met? 
Um, no, Jason County. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in the I past? Used to in the past, yeah. Um, my boys were older. Mm-hmm. I would talk to them first before they made the second. Mm-hmm. I would talk to them, what do you think about me, baby? What do you think? I would tell them, so the day we meet, they already know what I have already told them about the guy. Mm-hmm. So when they meet, and then they will see, and then, yeah. I think my kids met, um, okay, I was married twice, right? Mm-hmm. My first marriage, when I had these two boys, the father of the twins, we started knowing them when I was six months pregnant mm-hmm. with the twins, the mm-hmm. girls. Mm-hmm. That's how, that's the first time they met. The other relationship, um, yeah, two, I think two sons, those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after that, they haven't met anymore? No, yeah. Coloring. I mean, like, for me, I think, I think the different part about me is my kids are the ones who are pushing. <laughs> for you to find someone? To say, mom. What's you happening? Know? Yeah. Mm. yeah, mom. Meet somebody, isn't yeah. there anybody? If you understand what I'm saying, mm-hmm. yeah. So sometimes, even if they see you with a friend, not necessarily, you know, they're like kind of like curious. So, is this it? Is it because they always have this concern to say, you know what, mom, we're growing up and we're going to leave mm. and we don't want to leave you alone. Do we owe the baby daddy any explanation when we start seeing someone? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. and this is a resounding no, like he does not deserve to know. No. Does no. he tell me? Does he tell me? <laughs> <laughs> he can, he can. But <laughs> I think when he then progress to marriage, now he's got the right to know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. we're now getting married, he has the right to know. Say, you know what? I'm getting married to whatever. And then also, I think when the relationship gets serious, he needs to know because paninya yeku shangirabana and all that. Yeah. He just needs to know if there's another male figure in the house. Coloring. You know what coloring is, right? Oh, yeah. Sure. Coloring is. Lom lom lim lim lom lom How do we process that as single moms? Because I think coloring for Polake, definitely for Phyllis, is different for. Yeah, of course. For you, ladies. It I is. Think. It is. Like I'm, I said before, most men think you're an easy road. Mm-hmm. Anzi Univanakri, so what's me mm. and what have you but I can't be okay, let's say I start dating somebody and next week we're coloring mm. and what if it doesn't work out? It means how many people am I coloring in a year? Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, that type yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. So I think it's one of those principles that most men don't respect mm-hmm. on married women when I say no, mm-hmm. I'm not going to do this until I see a certain level of commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like this is a struggle across yeah, the board. It is. Women. It is. There's one guy I really liked mm-hmm. and then I said, What do you like I wasn't ready to color and then Yeah, they leave. <laughs> they, 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 they actually leave. Really. Until today, I'm convinced something else could have gone wrong. I don't think it was just the fact that I wouldn't color. It makes no sense in my mind. No, for, for, for men, coloring is kind of like so important to them. Most of them. Yeah. yeah. You know, and... Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm saying, right now, because I'm not yet sure. Because honestly, I can't be having a part of me every day. Mm. But, but do we? But do women not coloring. also just have an itch? And like, unlike Phyllis, you are in a better space because then you have freedom of expression in its truest sense. Ash, I know that just sounds <laughs> like you are. It's too social. Yeah, you're gonna have to answer that next week, though. Okay. It's twelve. Oh really? Yes, Already? Time oh, saved God. you. <laughs> Also, dating is hard because of fear of rejection. I know. You must be a woman, and I know what you mean. We've all been there, but are we not going to try anything? Let's talk about this after the news. We'll continue this discussion.